And people born with heart conditions can be treated with implantable devices that send electric shocks to re-stimulate the heart. For years, these patients were told to avoid sports or strenuous exercise, but as Action News anchor Margo Kim shows us, the risk is actually very low. 56-year-old Bobby Williams has congestive heart failure and has been treated with an implantable defibrillator and a left ventricular assist device. Not long ago, doctors would have discouraged heavy exercise for this condition. Now Bobby is encouraged to work out as hard as he wants. I feel like a, a, a bionic man sometimes. I feel great. It is safe for patients to participate in vigorous athletics and so it's, it's recommended that the physician and the patient work together but that in the majority of ca cases individual patients can continue to exercise vigorously and participate in sports, even contact sports with safety and that the patients not significantly at risk. Implantable cardiac defibrillators do not prevent a life-threatening rhythm disturbance, but they prevent sudden death by sending an electric shock to correct the disturbance. Heavy exercise does not impede their function. I've been there since these devices were all we had every step of the way to where we now have incredibly sophisticated devices that come in a platform this size, which is amazing. The LVAD, which operates on an external battery and regulates normal blood flow, will be removed if and when Bobby qualifies for a heart transplant, which is part of the reason he works out to get stronger. Stay active and you will win. For Health Watch, Margot Kim, ABC 30 Action News.